assisting the customers with a Lexion field ready program and a 75 hour warranty to give them the confidence and the security of purchasing a used combine and getting a manufacturer's warranty. It takes eight to ten hours to complete this inspection. And remember, the, the inspection goes from the feeder house to the chopper, from the engine down to the undercarriage. When the technician does the inspection, he will identify wear parts, he'll identify what needs to be replaced to make this combine field ready. After he's identified what needs to be replaced, then they'll complete the work order, they'll send the work order into Colossus of America, and then we'll issue a 75-hour warranty to that customer so he's got the confidence to purchase a used combine. The warranty is a 75-hour systems care warranty. It's also an opportunity for the buyer to also upgrade that warranty to a one-year warranty, which is also a systems care warranty. I grew up on a farm and I've been farming myself for approximately 40 years. Uh, we raise corn, soybeans, and wheat. I was kind of impressed with the warranty. Uh, I'd heard a lot about the capacity and uh, the resale value obviously was pretty good. Well, they have a 250 point inspection uh, program that they run through and uh, they warranty the combine against uh, any major defects for a specified period of time, which when you make a capital investment like that, that's quite a bit of confidence. These combines are a little bit intimidating to look at, but if you were at a farm show and you'd have one of your representatives uh, walking around it and changing belts out or things like that, I think that uh, it would build the confidence level of any potential buyer uh, immensely because once you get a hands-on uh, with this machine, I think you'll find out that it's very simple, very simple to work on and uh, understand and operate. Very satisfied. I haven't had any problems with it at all and uh, little or no downtime, so they've evidently fixed anything that could have erupted. I would recommend it to anyone without any reservations at all. Uh, Kloss seems to stand behind their uh, warranty quite well and uh, I, I mean I would recommend it to anyone without any reservations. None whatsoever. Yeah my family's been in the farming business probably since mid 1800s and uh, farming operation and everything is basically corn, probably about 80% corn and 20% beans. Klaus Combine's been around for a number of years. I've been intrigued about them, the tracks and all this, and I uh, always thought they was a little on the high end and everything, a little out of my price range for the amount of acres that I farm. And when I was over at the Farm Progress Show, we noticed that the display, seen it before, so it was past a couple years ago, I decided to stop by and check it out. And now you see what happened. The recondition program is, uh, as you know and everything, is a 250 point inspection, which I don't never have had anybody walk me through and show me the 250 points or anything, but it seemed like they went to the extra effort and everything to make sure that the customers wasn't going to have a problem with it after they bought it, which is pretty important to me. In the past, and they have had combines that probably haven't been inspected at all. They let the farmers go ahead and run them and everything until they have a problem with them. And this here combine and everything, issues that I had with it was resolved in a matter of hours probably. Yeah, I had one issue, I think it's probably within the first week I had the combine and everything I had developed an oil leak, hydraulic leak, and uh, called up the, the dealer who I bought the combine off of and everything, and they put me in touch with the disp dispatch, and in turn everything I was talking to the tech, and he, uh, we diagnosed the problem over the phone and more or less resolved the problem there within a half hour and had repairs for it the next day. So I was pretty satisfied with that. I first raised the side panel and everything looked at it. I was wondering where everything was because everything's covered. And shield and everything from debris getting into the belt pulleys and stuff like that and everything for its own protection. I so found out after I ran that combine for a while that you really didn't need to get behind one of those shields. I 
had a phone call this past winter. A neighbor farmer called me up and everything and asked me those same questions and I told him, I said there's nothing I could say that would be bad against that combine and everything and the people who stand behind that combine and everything is right there with you through the whole way and stuff. And then later on I heard that he went ahead and purchased a reconditioned combine. So very positive things to say about it. <laughs>